Okay, our given information gives us two sets of segments that are congruent. So we have AD congruent to BE as well as segment DC being congruent to segment CE. So our goal is to prove that we have an isosceles triangle, ABC, and the AB being the base helps us determine that the legs, AC and CB, are the sides that are congruent. So I think looking at the picture, we can see if we were to use segment addition postulate, we could prove that AC was congruent to CB. So our plan of attack would be to focus this proof on segment addition postulate. And recalling in order to use segment addition postulate, we need to say that the lengths of segments are equal. So we're going to start with our given information that we have congruent segments. Wow, that was a really bad congruent symbol. And that would be our given. And from here, we're going to change these into equal lengths. Because in order to work with segment addition postulate, we need to be in the language of measurement. So we know the definition of congruent segments. So now from here, we can use segment addition postulate to say that AD plus DC is equal to AC, as well as EB plus EC is equal to BC. So again, both reasons are segment addition postulate. Okay, so now we have segment addition postulate. We can go ahead and work with some substitution. I can take my given information that I changed into equal length and substitute it into one of the segment addition equations. So if I replace AD with BE and DC with CE, so I just changed this line into this line using our information from number two, I now have the parts of both my original segment addition equations here and here looking exactly the same. So if they're exactly the same, then that's going to go ahead and tell me by transitive the length of BC is equal to the length of AC. So let's backtrack number four with substitution. And then number five becomes transitive. So I need to prove I have a triangle that's isosceles, and if it's isosceles, sides are congruent. So I need to take these lengths and translate them into congruent segments using my definition of congruent segments. And now I have what I was trying to prove, which is triangle ABC is isosceles by definition of an isosceles triangle.